Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is French Shai Pierce, and welcome to my channel. And praise God, whom all blessings flow. Last night, between like 10:30, 11 p.m. in Washington D.C., in fact, a little less than a block from the White House, a male was driving at a high rate of speed and crashed. Yes near the White House and actually right outside the Treasury Building. That's right, the Treasury Building. That's a clue from me. Check this out. News this morning from overnight, just outside the White House. A man is dead after crashing his car into a security barrier around the White House complex. This happened just before 10.30 last night at the intersection of 15th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest. Mm -hmm right by the Treasury Building. It's just one block from the White House. Authorities tell us the car was traveling at a high rate of speed and crashed into an outer perimeter gate of the White House complex. The driver with the Treasury Building. It's just one block from the White House. Authorities tell us the car in a 15th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, right by the Treasury Building. It's just one Right next to the Treasury Building. Do you think something's going on, people? When I get done with the video, you just might agree. It's just one block from the White House. Authorities tell us the car was traveling at a high rate of speed and crashed into an outer perimeter gate of the White House complex. The driver was pronounced dead at the scene. U.S. Secret Service officials say security protocols were implemented and there was no threat to the White House. The crash is now being investigated by D.C. Police's Crash Investigation Unit as well as... Okay, so yeah, that's what we got so far. Now, P6, this guy stays, I want to say less than three blocks from the White House. I featured him before, P6. He was on the case last night. And he's one of the few people that had the information out last night when I first heard about it. So I'm like, let me sit on it so I can put the five C's to work. And yeah, he got on it. So in case you don't see the P6, See that? That's P6. And thanks for Scott, one of my subscribers. E. Scott, send me this pointer. Now I'm in business. <laughs> if I just take the cap off, right? There you go. Thank you, Scott. God bless. God bless. So let's listen to Pingensics. Pingensics. Whatever the pronunciation is. Check it out. I butchered his name. Who we can see. Okay, guys, we're now on the scene. This is uh, 14th of Pennsylvania, just up ahead of the World War One Memorial. So it's as far as I'm going to go because the male died on the scene. I'm not going to show his body. My condolences to friends and family. Now, what I want to show you, though, watch this. Check this out. One, two, three. X, X. X. I'm assuming it's already built, but I'm asking myself, the car just so happened to be feet from that area and the media's coverage, the media coverage has this here. What I've been telling you about X the last few weeks, the 24th letter of the alphabet is X. 
as an extermination. Just wanted to get that out there. Now I've got something uh, kind of peculiar to show you. Kind of peculiar. But first of all, check this out. It's east and northwest. East and northwest. 1500. And then if you take 15 plus 4, that's 19. And I keep informing you guys, back in the day, in 2019, we had that, the C word, 19. Chaos, baby, chaos. Now, I don't know why, but I see an image in this thing. It's crazy, it's crazy. I see multiple images. I see a, a head circle from here to here, or the eye there. I'm gonna let you figure it out. So if that's, the, if that's true, then this picture is airbrushed, whatever you wanna call it. But let me give you the video so you can check it out. Driver dies after crashing car in White House barrier police. And that is New Center Marine, New Center Marine. It's 38 seconds long. Just type in car crash, car crashes White House. But this blew me here. This looks like an alien oval head with an eye. And here's the neck. I'm just calling it like I see it. And that's look like a double face that's facing it. A face here looking at this face. I, I don't know why I see it like that, but that's the way I see it. Let me move on. Now check this out. You see this 12-12 of 2024 versus yesterday's date of 5-4-2024. This is when the car crash happened on 5-4. This here is the anniversary of Pennsylvania. So let me give that to you so I can get you guys on the same page. So Pennsylvania, December 12th of 1787 was the second state in the union. December 12th of 1787. When you say take December 12th of 2024, got an anniversary coming up versus yesterday's crash, you get 222 days. That's deep, y'all. I said it's deep. What is 222? Antichrist, Barack Obama, the beast of revelation, Antichrist, as above, so below, or the our chaos, all gematria. Let's look at this here. There it is there, Pennsylvania. Okay, a lot of symbology there, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Then, uh, February 23rd is the 54th day of the year. Why do I have that? February 23rd. We're going to come back to that, or should I just attack that now? Let me see. February 23rd is the 50. Oh, well, let's go to. I'm going to have to wait on that because I have to lead into something to get to that point. So we're going to pass that up because that's. That's, that's, that's code. Now, remember that um, address was Northwest. Northwest is what? 47, reverse reduction. Since it was a block from the White House or less, when you think 47, you think who? The next president. Is that coincidence? Okay, so that's all we have there. And I don't think I did this yet, right? Now at the barrier, it said stop, but the P was covered by the car that was crashed. Okay, I'm gonna show you that. The car is right here. So STP is only visible. 
STP. STP in Gematra, S is 19, T is 20, O is 15. So that equals up to 54. The 54th day of the year is February 23rd. So that's what I had last time. February 23rd. 223. 223 two, or backwards is what? 322. Two, two. Skull and bones all day, baby. Look at that. Now, let's look at a few other things. Talked about Pennsylvania already. Um, near Treasury Building. The crash was right next to the Treasury Building. Crash, Treasury, crash, Treasury. Now, four days ago in Charlotte, North Carolina, remember you had four policemen that were serving us search warrant or something, they were shot to death with five injured, something like that, right? Remember I showed you the, the street? It was called Bankston. Bankston. Are they telling us stories through these events? That was the name of the street where the police got shot to death in Charlotte, North Carolina. The street was called Bankston. And now we have the video I played for you earlier said near the Treasury Building. Treasury, Bankston. Treasury, Bankston, crash. Are we headed for a financial crash? And all the videos I watched said that the car was driving at a high rate of speed. High rate. I just showed you guys what last night I believe that the housing market was given $2 trillion over the next few months to keep itself going. And with $34 trillion in the hole, high rate of speed. It's deep, y'all. I'm just putting it out there. Let me, let me know what you think in the comments section. So let's go. I'm going to start at the top. Here we go. We got STO, STO, right? We defined STO already. And then we got the word stop. Stop in Gematra is X. Like the three X's we saw next to the car that was crashed. Remember three X's? X is the 24th letter alphabet. Enough said. Isn't that funny? Three X's they showed on that, on that camera. Look. Is that coincidence? X, three X's, pointer time, one, two, three. Thank you, Scott, for providing that for me, that pointer comes in handy. Look at that, then we got this here. The word barricade, he ran to a barricade. Barricade comes out to 366. Devil's number, 666, or counseling man, number six. It also comes out to 85, 185 in Hebrew, and 61 in simple Dramatra. Let's go. Okay, here's 185 here. The 185th day of the year is July 4th. Was something happened July 4th? I'm just asking. I'm gonna go into the calculator right quick. I wanna see something, this whole type. Let me see if something's going to, if I can play something here. July. Might as well let you guys see what I'm doing here. July 4th. 4th. Okay, July 4th comes out to 852. But here's the kicker. If you include the end date. Look at that. This is the day of the accident last night, 5-4. And it's July 4, 2024. The difference is 62. Barack Obama, 62 years old, the Antichrist. Is that just pointing to America? 
because America was founded on July 4th, right? Is this the end? July 4th, 1776? Wow. Interesting decode as we go, right? Let's see what else I got here. Here we have, we also had 61 in Jamatra. Remember that? There's your 185, there's your 61. So now we got 61. March 2nd, 61st day of the year. But if it is a leap year, that's 62. There's Barack Obama's age again. Isn't that something? Let's go here. We showed Pennsylvania earlier. We did the 222. Bankston, Bankston, Treasury, and, cr and Crash. We already showed this here. East, Northwest. East, 45, 63. 45 used to be Trump. 63, 36 is 666. Northwest again, 47, the new president. That's it, people. Man, tell me what you think. I can't get over this though. This is P6. P6 showed this. I guess it was an accident, but when he got there, everybody got the same same um, camera feed because you got a certain angle before you show the cop. Evidently, this must be a railroad crossing or something. But look here, because that's a that's an arm, right? X X X. Unless this is a, a, a entrance. To a, to a building next there, but it got the barricade. So anyway, you got XXX. Something's going on, people. I'm Frank Shot Pierce. We enjoy the work. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Are they giving us subtle signs through events that are happening? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. 222. X is 24. High rate of speed. Four days ago, street called Bankston. I say something's happening. That's what I think. I'm French Shot Pearson. Please subscribe. Um, again, I'm going by, by faith. You know, whatever happens, we still go by faith. I'm expecting to have a strike within 24 hours. We'll see. Um, We'll just see what happens. Uh, I'll put it in the description. I have Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, and PayPal. I also have a P.O. Box, French Shot Pearson, P.O. Box 13116, Chicago, Illinois, 60613. God bless you. We got to endure. Pray for me. I'll pray for you.